Hai. Selamat datang. Welcome. Assalamualaikum. Hai, I'm Lin E. Ana Sahla. Assalamualaikum. Pozdrav. Hello. Marhaban. Annyeonghaseyo. Siamunina. Marhaban. Endings don't have to be sad, they just mean that something else is about to begin. And there are many things that don't really end, they just begin again in a new way. That I have to hover all the exchanges and see everyone like going here and there uh, and I'm staying at home <laughs> obviously have an eye security uh, one of the funniest things this Monday was creating boxer stickers for literary situation happening in Mexico I can actually show you some of the stickers We have RWD and X course, so that family, you know, sense. Have some funny moments, and it's good. I think everything is funny, but no. Okay, so, um, you know, I live in GM Double's 8 time zone, which is the best like, April time zone. And then, like, when I have to be in the global, I have to follow all of the GM Double 0, GM Double 1, GM Double 2 time zone, and so on and so on. And, like, we have to be really equal with all of the time zone sets for Monday meetings EM1, EM2, EM3. And sometimes when I really, really want to sleep and I just gotta wake up, like, dang, I have to wake up for meeting with X. I'm like, how can it be painful? Like, you didn't sign up for this. Like, I need sleep. I think the most funny, um, funny part of my position is that you can work with your work with your own language, own first language. So even though my English is not my first language, I could use Korean when I work with my reception committee. And this, I think that is the best part of um, to work as an IPSF World Congress chairperson. No, definitely not. <laughs> I mean, um, it can be sometimes. And before the COVID era, we were able to meet, uh, leave a certain first impression, try to showcase our work, etc. But maybe uh, with COVID, it became slightly more complicated. But hey, we're IPSF, we definitely can do it. <laughs> well, yesterday I went to the pharmacy and I bought this really expensive laxative, but it gave me a really good run for my money. My favorite type of cheese would be brie, uh, mainly because it's really versatile. You can include it as part of a sandwich, or you can put it on a cracker, or you can eat it as part of a charcuterie board, or just, um, you know, pair it with a beverage. It is hard to pick a favorite IPSF portfolio. However, for me, it has to be policy and advocacy. Uh, ever since I started my journey with IPSF, that was the portfolio that drove me uh, 
farther and farther into the Federation and its work and the fact that we can influence the, their opinion and distribute information and mobilize a world movement for the causes we believe in and that kind of power is very attractive and that's why policy and advocacy is my part So as a Secretary General, there's one main advice that I'll give you, uh, probably <laughs> to be on top of everything, um, to make sure that you have Google Calendar, <laughs> because you're going to be the alarm clock for not only the Executive Committee, but also the, your entire association as well. So make sure that you're keeping tabs on everything and what's going to help you is your organization skills and um, apps and tools such as Google Calendar or Scheduling or if you have a daily planner or maybe even a diary, it's going to really help. I found that that has helped me a lot. My favorite PD project will be within the PPAC portfolio which is because I loved organizing uh, ideas of Innovate. Uh, bringing a new topic to students to work on and think about and how to involve them in healthcare that way is pretty interesting. So hence it being my favorite project. I became a contact person from PPHSF Pakistan back in 2018 and then I was selected as the organization membership coordinator in 2019. And finally, when my mandate as an organization membership coordinator was coming to an end, I decided to contest elections for the chairperson of internal relations, and now here I am. Love. Campus. And if I have another word, it would be diverse. Family. If I have another word, it would be growthful, maybe? Uh, something that makes you grow as a person. Whatever you see, like good and bad stuff, uh, you meet nice people, maybe not nice people, maybe people you, you're not compatible with, like your, your uh, personality, and so this also like uh, makes you learn, so... I would say... I would say the word is friends because it really feels like one big group of friends that are all doing uh, what they love together and having a good time. And I know it sounds cheesy, but it's really true, so that's why I'm going with that. If I would describe my Pacific in another word, um, I think it would be uh, journey. My Pacific is a journey. My favorite movie, I would say, is Undisputed. Undisputed. I think the star of that movie was called Boy Cow or something, yeah. I really love that movie because it like, shows you determination and persistence. And Yeah, I really love Black Panther too, but if I'm to pick one, um, definitely go with Undisputed. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Yeah. I think when it comes to the external portfolio, what really, really matters is how strong the relations you are building with your partners rather than the number of partners you are making. So I believe this would be my advice to anyone wishing to work in the external portfolio. Um, actually, to be honest, I'm not that good at cooking, so I usually cook ramen, instant ramen, the instant noodle. To do all the assigned tasks without neglecting my own portfolio and my own projects and to keep a balance. I think my biggest challenge this mandate has been uh, to balance the workload of being in the IPSF Executive Committee as well as in the European Regional Working Group with finishing my pharmacy degree. 
It really doesn't leave a lot of free time and you really need to carefully divide your attention over a lot of different tasks and also a lot of different people that are demanding your guidance and support. But it has always been very rewarding and I have zero regrets. I think the pandemic is my main challenge because I cannot see all of the pretty faces and handsome faces and model faces of Asian people, especially Apur people, uh, people that are sexy from Australia or New Zealand, or even like some cute uh, oppa from Korean and some very young Nuna from Korean. Um, they also cannot see me. That's like the biggest challenge, but yeah, I mean, right. Confidence is amazing. Oh, and also like the challenge that I have with my um, team. I think it's um, basically like having everything online is kind of like crazy. I think that the most person that I communicate with would be Amira because of the database and like designs and so on. <laughs> <laughs> like put a, a crying. emoji crying, yes, a crying emoji. Uh, and Osama because like he has so many um, inputs about SAP that, that I love to uh, know about and so on. Uh, and Joao, of course, when I need something important. <laughs> Actually, I communicate with everyone. Like I, I don't, I don't recall that I didn't message each one like a private message each of them like me and them having a private conversation yeah i think i had a them... private conversation with each one of exico rwg coordinators and literally everyone in my piece thank you I, I would have loved to do so but I, we have many seos but if in, any of them wanted to like text me i would be more than glad to chat with them uh, but i promise that i would do so um like I will like answer instantly. Uh, I actually answer like uh, I'm readily available to ITSF more than I'm available to my friends because <laughs> I'm like you didn't see my messages. Like yeah, I'm sorry I didn't see it, but I can see messages from SEOs. I can see messages from ITSF Exco, uh, but like not from my friends, and uh, that's not really nice. I like, hope that they don't kill me if they see. Thank you. Assalamu. Assalamu filaman. Sampai berjumpa lagi. Do vidjania. Talat. Assalamu. Allah hafiz. Apna khayal rakhiyega. Goodbye. Ma assalamu. Annyeong i gaseyo. Ya besensia. Assalamu alaikum. Bye-bye.